What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host T. Welcome to the Adventures of TNT. Now, we today we have a special Patreon request because this is coming from our patron Dan, which he has requested Twisted Sister and I believe the song is called uh It's Only Rock and Roll. And this is featuring Lemmy from uh from Motorhead. Now, he went ahead and he gave me a little information about the band in which he had stated that whenever people talk about Twisted Sister, they always talk about the song We're Not Going to Take It. And he was telling me how uh, they're much more than that song. I mean, this band is, has been grinding for years. And originally when they were trying to get signed or get a record deal, record companies didn't want to deal with them because they didn't like their makeup or their outrageous get up. They didn't think it was appealing. And so they decided to go touring uh, overseas in Europe. And it was hard for them to perform because the European fans didn't like their makeup or their get up as well. And so what would happen or what end up happening is Lemmy from Motorhead, he he liked them and he would get up on stage and he would introduce them so that the European fans would give him a chance. And so um, I guess that's where we're at right now. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what this song is all about. Uh, once again, this is It's Only Rock and Roll by Twisted Sister. This is dedicated to all of you and you too, honey. That beret looks like crap. Okay, this one's called. This one's called. It's, on. <laughs> this one's called it's only rock and roll, but I like it. Get your hands on the back Yo, Dan, you are not lying. This guy has a ton of charisma, tons of energy, and you would not get that from that song, We're Not Gonna Take It. Even the sound, this sounds more heavy or more harder and more aggressive than that. Let's go. I said I like it. I said I like it. I said I like it. Oh, baby, I can't see. This out loud, get lonely. Said I like it. Said I like it. But well, baby, can you see? Just I'm walking lonely. Remember, how did you think that you're the only girl around? How did you think that you're the only girl around? I, I love the energy in this. You see, this guy, he has just went straight beast mode. He had to go walk off and take off his shirt and just get right back at it. 
you like rock and roll cause you're on TV just think bunch of geezers like us on TV just think about it everything that you do is being picked up by these cameras and all the world's gonna see just how sick you are well I want you to do something I want you to do something I want you to say three little words for Twisted Sister baby I want you to do three little words you know what they are? You know what they are? It's very easy. I like it. That's all you gotta say, baby. I like it. A trained dog can do that, man. Woof, woof, woof. Very good, Bowser. Okay, like that, you know. I like it. It's very easy. Now, wait, now. I like that. I like, I like it. And this is when you say, listen, to the When I go, I know. It's only rock and roll. You go, I like it. Now, that okay. ain't hard. Uh, someone with a front, frontal lobotomy could do that, man. <laughs> Come on. So I want to hear one time. Let's just see how good you are. Are ready now? Are you ready? I want to see it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I said, I know it's only rock and roll, but now we got the whole front section going here. But I think the back yeah. section and part of the balcony must be on quaaludes or something because because they're all standing there going, <laughs> oh. All right, now, 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 don't stand there with your mouth open staring at us, man. I'm talking to you. I'm talking about what you like. I know you gotta like rock and roll. You wouldn't be here in the first place. I ain't talking about like a twisted sister, man. I'm talking about liking rock and roll. And that goes with every kind of band that is. Every kind of band, every kind of band in the world. So I wanna hear it. I wanna hear it. I like it. I know you can do better than that. I know you can do better than that. Okay, I wanna hear it now. I see it. Ah, no. It's only rock and roll, but. Oh, we got a few more of you. I see you warming up over there. I know I can see you talking like Popeye out of the side of your mouth. Okay. You know what, though? I just don't think that's good enough. And I think the problem here is that we need some help. We gotta bring out the artillery, you understand? So I wanna call a couple of our friends up to the stage a little bit. Hey, boys! Boys, you wanna come up to the stage now? I want you boys up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We need you. We need you, we need you, we need you. <laughs> oh, here comes the dynamic duo. Let them through, let them through. Come on, boys. Yo, maybe you're probably like, yo, I didn't even finish my beer. Get that camera, follow that man. A daring escapade. Where's the other one? All right. Let me. I know we got. Come on, boy. Come on, we need you. We need you. Come on, boy. Wonder. Come on, boy. Yes. It's Robbo. <laughs> Let me and Robbo from Mode Can we hear it, boy? Come on, now. Let's hear it, boy. Now, you know, I think you boys got to get yourself hooked up. Get hooked up, you know, because when we go any further, I think these people want to hear you boys play a little bit. You feel like playing a little bit with Slimmy now? He's got it. All right, boy. Get ready, boy. You play. Ready? Let's go. Come on. Woo. <laughs> All right. So, this is so dope. Wow, that is incredible. No, oh, boy, not here now. This this makes me feel like I wish I was now, there. Now, 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 I think, I think we've got just about everything up here that we need. We got Twisted Sister, all the way from America. We got Motorhead. Motorhead. But it still seems to be a problem. We're still missing people in the audience. And you know what that means? That if we can't get everybody in the audience going, that means those people sitting at home ain't going either. And that just ain't no good, you understand? Because it's Christmas time, man. It's Christmas time. And the tomb has given all the heavy metal kids a special Christmas present. A night with Tigers of Pantang, and Iggy Pop and Twisted Sister and Motorhead even came up. And everybody's giving, everybody's in the spirit of giving. But I think you people want something else before you give us what we need. I think you got a little hang up some of you people. I think there's some people out there who can't take Twisted Sister. 
because of the way we look. That's the problem, isn't it now? Because it's so damn crazy that we don't give up. I can't talk, I can't curse. I feel like my whole vocabulary is cut off. <laughs> uh, and you just won't listen this to guy. us. You just won't pay attention to us out there. No, 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 pay attention. Because we got makeup on. Well, if that seems to be the problem, then we got to take the makeup off, now, don't we? If that's the problem, then that's what Twisted Sister will give to you. If that's what you give to us, give me that stuff, man. Seriously, I'm not crazy enough for you. Well, now I ain't got no makeup on, so now what are you gonna do? Now you gotta give yourself to me, okay? You gotta, don't let me down, I did something for you. It's Christmas time, give Twizzlers in the what they want. I wanna hear you say, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. You can do that for me, now can you do that for me? I know you can do that for me, I know you can do it for me, all right? So get ready, I wanna hear you say, I oh, know, it's only rock and roll, man. We got some friends in the back, I know we got some friends in the back. And this time when you shout, I want you to take your fist and I want you to stick that in the air. I want you to stick that fist in the air. Show, show the world just how much you like rock and roll. My friends in the balcony, don't let me down, okay? I say, ah, no, it's only rock and roll, man. Oh, I know you can do better than that. These boys wanna play. We all wanna play up in the balcony. We need all of you. Turn the cameras on, these people. I want them to be on TV. I want them to be on TV. I like it. You can do it, my man. Can't you do it? Can't you do it? I like you do it. I love say, his energy. Ah, no. It's only rock and roll. Man. Yeah, 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 only rock and roll. That was awesome. That was too cool. Um, now, I haven't heard too many Twisted Sister songs. Uh, matter of fact, um, I think uh, we're not going to take it. It's the only Twisted Sister song that I that I listen to. And Dan, you were absolutely right. It does not do this band this band justice or a D Snyder. This guy, he has energy. He has charisma. He has crowd control i'm sitting here watching this performance at home and i felt like i was there it makes me want to go see twisted sister perform uh, i don't think they're performing anymore but this was this was too cool this is really really cool i mean i don't i don't know i'm at a loss for words i oh, wow that just really changed my perception of this band i feel like i need to go down the twisted sister rabbit hole and listen to more music from them I just, I loved it. I loved this performance. I really loved when uh, Lemmy got on stage and him and Robo, they just tore that shit up. Let me see. You play. Ready, let's go. Come on. Hey, he just picked that shit up and he just started going in. <laughs> and that energy. See, and you know what? I don't know what it is. I, I, because I've heard of D. Snyder. 
You know, he's somebody that a lot of people talk about, but I've never, because I haven't heard anything from this band, I've never heard his singing style, but he has like this traditional rock and roll uh, singing style. Like I, I really enjoyed his, his voice. For some reason, he kept reminding me of Tina Turner. I don't know why, but, um, but Jesus Christ, guys, let me know down in the comment section what you thought about that performance. Uh, I really, really enjoyed that. Now, Dan has told me to check out another video. This is on, um, I guess, uh, D. Snyder. He was talking about Lemmy after, uh, uh, maybe I think after his death or so. I'm not sure. Let me see. Just hang out with me for a little bit, guys. See, I love when I discover these bands and, uh, you know, I can learn as, uh, all this stuff about them. It's just truly incredible. Yeah, I think this was after he passed. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it and see what, uh, what this video is all about. Let's go. Hmm. <sighs> Well, I mean, the Motorhead story was not uh, it was not a uh, a violent story, other than the fact that Twisted Sister had its first ever performance in England with no record out. Nobody had ever seen the band over there. Uh, was opening for Motorhead at a football stadium, huge show. Motorhead was huge, and it was on with like seven other bands. And we wound up by some craziness of cancellations and because we were from the U u.s and there was some curiosity special guesting with no album and we had to go on in the daylight which we'd never done before yeah <laughs> we heard that bands that wore makeup had been uh, cere uh unceremoniously bottled off the stage uh bands like God girl damn with, with phil lewis and uh from la guns and um what's his name from phil Con Phil Collins is his name? Phil Collin. Phil Collins? From uh, Def Leppard, where they wore makeup and they, they you know, basically nearly were killed. So we were going on in the daylight on top of everything else. No cloak of darkness. And we were really um, pretty terrified. There was actually talk of not wearing the makeup and costumes backstage. Damn. And I said, look, I, I, I'm as scared as anybody because Motorhead's crowd Yo, those is UK fans are ruthless. They sit there and bottle you off the stage. The guys. And the girl in the crowd. And um, we, uh, you know, I said, you know, we've done this for six and a half years now. I've been through hell with this makeup and costumes. I'm not taking them off now. So we, uh, we were going to go out anyway. And Lemmy Kilmeister, Kilmeister what it, uh, he, I always say he knew the smell of human excrement. He knew we had <laughs> shit in our own pants. So he came in and said, I'm going to introduce you guys, which I thought was the most gracious thing for a headliner to do, to come out before his set. And um, he, we walked out on stage, and you, the people went, bottles were back like this. People were just getting ready to start throwing. And the crack was, they saw us, and Lemmy walked out. And everybody froze. And Lemmy said, I'm going to say it in English so you understand, because you can't, Lemmy's like, Aah! he said, um, these are some friends of mine from America. Give him a listen. Twisted Sister. And we played a ferocious set. Damn. And the place went nuts. So nuts, in fact, that A, it was one of the most memorable uh, re reactions of my career. Ten minutes after our show, as we sat in a locker room toweling off, we heard the stadium just, and you heard, boom, boom, twisted, boom, boom, sister, boom, boom. Ten minutes after the show, we're like, Damn. whoa. And then Lemmy came out. I, I can believe that. And said to me, I can believe that. I introduced you. Now you introduce me. Dang. And I was like, I was stunned to be asked by Lemmy to. And, if, and I went out on stage and the place went crazy. And um, I brought on Motorhead and then stood on the side of the stage and just headbanged ferociously. With, and uh, he dedicated America to me. And it was one of those nights that I'll never forget. And um, it launched Twisted Sisters' career in England. And subsequently the world and i think that if 
Lemmy had not stepped in, that wow. it, it would have been a very different story to tell. Dang. I love you, Lemmy. <laughs> we wow, that is so cool. That's so cool how that simple chain reaction just, you know, launched their career and made them a household name, I guess, everywhere. Wow. Never would have known that. Uh, once again, shout out to you, Dan. Thank you so much for this request. This is very, very interesting. Uh, I love these little tidbit morsels of information that I can learn about these bands as I'm continuing continuing my journey. Um, but guys, if you have any stories, if you have any Twisted Sister stories um, or Motorhead stories, maybe you were a part of that concert that he was talking about. I know you guys, you know, y'all have like a ton of stories and experiences, and I would love to hear them. I read every single comment, and I would love to hear your thoughts. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this reaction. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.